Hi Scorpios, I am back with a reading for the 8th through the 15th for you guys. Hope all is well. You guys were all up in Sagittarius' reading. So some of you are very possibly dealing with a Sagittarius. Let's see. Who is this person for my Scorpios? Six of Swords. Aquarius is there. Somebody that's wanting to talk things out, work things out with you. Um, they're possibly wanting to make the first move, uh, take the initiative to work things out with you guys, smooth things over. Then we have a Three of Wands there, Aries energy. Uh, they're really uh, trying to come to a decision about how to go about this. You're looking for answers. This person is probably praying. Um, or asking for guidance from people that they really, really trust here. Asking for guidance. Four of Cups, this is a stable person. Um, I don't really feel like they are communicating with someone on an intimate level. I feel like this person is trying to figure things out as far as like where you guys are concerned here. Okay. Cancer Energy. Ten of Pentacles. I feel that this person is looking for stability and commitment with you guys. I feel like there is a true divide between you right now. Um, this is someone that you quite possibly lived with or married to. And um, this person is trying to really figure out where you guys go from here. And what is their part in this. That's Virgo energy with the Ten of Pentacles there. <clears throat> then we have the star Aquarius very strong for some of you guys um, they're definitely wanting to work things out with you because they do feel like you guys are worth it they feel like you are their soulmate that you guys are a good match for each other regardless of the problems that you guys share this person feels like you guys are the one okay Maybe you guys are far away from them, <clears throat> if not physical in physical distance, just emotional distance. Maybe, you know, you haven't been on the same page for a while here. This is the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy, fixed energy like yourselves. Um, both of you are quite strong. Uh, and, and when you get something in your head, it's hard for somebody to change that. But I, I see that this person is really thinking about um, whether or not to continue to invest in a relationship with you guys or whether they need to move on. Trying to figure out the best way to approach this. Uh, I don't get that they've made a solid decision yet. I feel that um, just really they've been in their head. Not, not so much that they're overthinking things but really trying to figure out what's best for you and what's best for them this could definitely be a Libra here as well but um, definitely trying to figure out whether they should move on and let you guys be or whether they should reach out to you here okay <clears throat> the six of cups you guys were extremely happy at one time I feel like this was the relationship um, of relationships for both of you at one point in time, you guys were very committed to each other and you both fulfilled each other emotionally. But now it's um, there's definitely a separation, but you guys are soulmates here. With the Star and the Six of Cups, this is, again, a relationship like no other. Okay, it goes beyond just you know, feeling infatuated with someone or really liking someone. There was a deep, I feel like, emotional bond between the two of you guys here okay and then we have the hermit virgo so aquarius virgo is extremely strong for some of you this person is wanting back what you guys had they want the home life. They want the security, the emotional security. Um, they they want to continue to build with you. Okay. What does this person really want with 
Scorpios. They want change. They want something to change here. I feel like there's there's some kind of emotional distance in between the two of you. Some of them are wanting you guys to actually move closer or they want to move closer. They want the wait to be over. They want you. Death is your card. There's something about you they feel like um, that you guys could afford to change as well. That maybe, you know, you could meet them halfway. <clears throat> they want you to meet them halfway. Because they're carrying, they feel like they're carrying this all on their own. This is Sagittarius energy. They want you guys to meet them halfway. Nine of Wands, they're tired. They're tired. They want the wait to be over. They're tired of thinking about it, reminiscing about it. Um, they're tired of being lonely. I feel they want you to come towards them. And show them that you want to be with them just as much as they want to be with you here. Then we have the Seven of Swords. I feel like this person is on the verge of um, not giving up necessarily. But I feel this Nine of Wands energy is uncomfortable for this person. And this is like really feeling weighed down and tired and and just struggling with you know the loneliness with the um with the memories this person in the seven of swords energy i feel is is really trying to figure out is it best to continue to wait and see what they can get from you like you know what energy what emotions what actions they can get from you they're struggling with that versus um, just kind of letting things be and moving on and doing what's best for them here with the Seven of Swords energy. This is about working things out. This is about moving on by yourself and doing what's best for you. So it's like they're, they're struggling here because they're sitting and they're waiting and they're, they're wondering, okay, should I work things out? Should I make the first move? Should I take the initiative? But I also feel like, you know, Scorpio could take some of this burden as well. So that is where I see this person being at currently, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.